in this episode, we're going to look at creating an OmniAuth for sign-in with Apple. So we could sign in normally with our username and password, or if we already have an Apple ID account, then we can sign in with Apple, and this will take us over to Apple's webpage, where we can then securely sign in. And once we enter in our username and password, it'll go through the authentication steps. And once we go through the authentication workflow, we're then successfully signed into our account. And one interesting thing about Apple is that they have a private relay. So if I wanted, I could hide my real email address from this website, and instead I would have a randomly generated email address at the private relay.appleid.com. So essentially, this website would never know what my actual real email address is. However, if they set it up correctly, then they're going to still be able to reach out to me via this email address. And if you navigate over to appleid.com and sign in, under the security, you can click on the manage apps and password. And then you can say stop using the Apple ID. You can turn it off, which will turn off the email forwarding. So if you did want to receive any emails from that site anymore, then you could basically turn it off at this relay level. Or if we just want to delete this account, then we could stop using the Apple ID. And so because I hit stop using Apple ID, if I sign in with Apple again, and if I go through all the authentication steps, on the first time, it'll prompt me if I want to share my email or hide my email. And if I select hide my email, then when the OAuth creates a new user account, then it's going to use the private relay. And did you know that you can go to railstore.com to get your own Ruby on Rails t-shirt or your Drift and Ruby t-shirt. So be sure to check that out and use the promo code Ruby for free shipping within the United States. To watch this full episode and more videos, visit driftandruby.com and subscribe to the pro membership.